All right, we're going to look at mode now, and and I mentioned earlier that mode quite often doesn't really give you a central tendency. It, it, most of the time, mean and median are the ones that you want to calculate. Mode does have its uses though, and, and mode is useful when you have what is called categorical data. And categorical data is seen in example five, question A, where you've got some colors. They're categories, they're not numbers. And when this happens, mean and median become useless because mean and median can only be calculated when you have numbers. So when you have something like this in question A, you can quite easily calculate the mode, which is just the most common color, which in this case is blue. And this might be useful when you might just want to know what the most common thing is. That's when mode becomes useful. Now we'll just answer question B, we'll calculate the mode for this one. This one actually has two modes. The mode is one or three because they both have the same amount. And when this happens, we call this bimodal.